right, we just got through test firing uh, for the first time the new 2013 Walther PPX. Not PPQ, not P99, PPX. Also known as the Walther High Point. What this is, basically Walther for 2013 split the PPQ and the PPX apart and one is more of a higher end gun in the 6 650 range and then you have the PPX here in the 400 450 range call it an economy option but just because it's an economy option doesn't mean it's crap warning I'm a Walther fanboy so I'm gonna say I like it and it is it, it ran fine with steel and brass case it was reasonably accurate it has a comfortable grip of course it uses basically the same grip as the PPQ has a checkering. The one difference is it does not have interchangeable back straps. It has a medium style back strap integrated. Uses 16 round proprietary double stack mags. Put this in my pocket for a second. It is a hammer fire gun. I notice it's disconnected, so it's not double action only exactly. Cock it and you have this in the back here. You can see it moving. That's your trigger. It's not bad. Very smooth actually for what it is. Quite a short pull. You know, a lot like a lot of Glock triggers, you know, and everything. One thing I like about this gun, a lot of the parts are metal. Metal mag release, metal sights, metal trigger. It is an economy gun, I won't pretend otherwise, but it still has a Picatinny rail under here. Front slide serrations, rear, of course, angled slide. It's a little blocky. I think it's because the slide, they make, you know, one of the ways they save money is by fewer machining steps and maybe even stamped. I'm not sure. That's it. You know, it's a nine mil pistol. Oh, by the way, they're importing these in Portsmouth, Arkansas, which is maybe 30 minutes down the road from me so I like to say that I like Walther so much they actually moved to be nearer me <laughs> if you're looking for a German made and this is all German it's not an Umrex it's not a you know knockoff it's made in Germany by Walther if you're looking for a true Walther that's reliable durable holds 16 plus one and you don't have just a ton of money to spend this for 400 450 you get two high cap mags a hard case and a manual and of course the gun itself I have nothing bad to say about it, really, aside from its aesthetics aren't all that great, but what do I care about that? So, uh, thanks. Thought I'd just share a little bit about it. There's been a lot of questions lately.